Okay, so could you state your name, um, the organization you're with, and why you're here today? And then at the end, let us know a website so people can find out more about you if they want to make a donation or volunteer. Okay. We're going to go with her first. She's the executive uh, director. Okay. Oh, um, I'm a Miss Major. I work with Transgender, Gender Variant, and Intersex Justice Project. It is an organization that works with transgender women of color that are being housed in prisons and jails. Um, what brought me here was I wanted to make sure that our community was represented. There's a lot of people who serve time and go to prison and jail and come out and act as if we don't exist when inside they're chasing us to get a piece of what we got. Mm -hmm. And so the thing is that now that we're out here, they need to know we're out here too. When you're serving time, I'm doing the same time they're doing. You know? And so I want to make sure that we're here, we need to know we're not going nowhere, and that this can't succeed if we're not involved in it. We can't leave anybody out. And so that's why I'm here. And do you have a website? Yes, we have a website. Um, it's the www thing, t g i j p dot org. Okay. And that'll get you to the site. You can see what it is that we do, and they change the little video things on it a lot, stuff like that. It's a pretty good website. Thank you. Sure, you're quite welcome, honey. Here. Hi, my name is Minister Bobby G. Baker, and I'm from San Francisco, California. I'm here for two purposes. One, to bring about visibility and to be united with the former incarcerated and convicted people's movement. I did 14 years in the Tennessee Department of Corrections. And at this critical stage around voters registration, I felt that it was imperative that we be here from the Transgender Gender Variant Intersex Justice Project to put a face to the movement that trans people are incarcerated, trans people are empowered, trans people do get released, and we do become active members of society. This voter's registration, this voter's law in Philadelphia is a bunch of BS, and it is stopping us, especially trans women of color, from voting because many of us have many, many issues. I also work, this is my executive director, also my transgender grandmother, uh, at TGI Justice Project, which is an agency for and by trans women of color. And we work with prisoners inside and outside of California and beyond. And just to bring about the voice of the transgender community to the movement and to be visible, because I've come to find out at 48 that we don't have too many people who are being visible and raising our voices. And so TGI Justice Project has given me that platform to raise my voice. And if you are in Philadelphia and you are transgender, queer, non-gender conforming, omni-queer, whichever way you identify under the umbrella, you are important, you matter, and get out and vote. Our lives depend on it. Thank you. Do y'all have a chapter in Philadelphia? Like if somebody in Philadelphia wanted to reach out to you, how would they do that? Uh, if you're in Philadelphia, you're going to have to get to us by uh, email or by the website, and that's www.tgijp.org. Okay, are y'all thinking about creating, like, national like, we're, chapters? Yeah, we're everything? definitely uh, in the process of moving through the formerly incarcerated prisoners movement to make sure that there's a trans voice and trans vis visibility in every chapter of the former incarcerated prisoners movement. We're in collaboration. I think it's 28 organizations okay. from around the world, around the US of A, that have united to bring about this movement. We're not building another nonprofit. Right. We're building a movement. Right. And in the words of our ED, this is a movement, then we need to be involved in the movement. I just found out the other day that there are over 400,000 convicted felons in Philadelphia alone. Mm -hmm. Now, in that 400,000, there has to be a lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender person mm -hmm. that's been convicted. But mm -hmm. yet, I've been here for the last five days, and I have yet to see a trans person involved. Mm -hmm. 
That's why we're here, to bring a voice and to bring visibility. But if you want to reach us by phone, mm -hmm. that number is area code 415-252-1444. That's 415-252-1444. That's in San Francisco, California, and we would love for you to call us. We'll try to give you whatever information we have or link you to some information that you need. Thank you. Thank you both. Oh, thanks. Could you say for me, please, that you're watching Red Hen Exploring Our Conditions? Who? Red Hen Exploring Our Conditions. We are watching. You're watching Red Hen Exploring Our Conditions. You're watching Red Hen Exploring Our Conditions. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs>